Hello and welcome to the Jeff Finch Experiment. Uh, today, I'm a little bit saddened by news that Nintendo released yesterday uh, concerning the NES Classic. Um, that's the little retro gaming console that they released back in November. I was unable to get one then, uh, even though I was in line the day that they came out, uh, and they never offered any pre-orders, uh, but I still have not been able to get one, and yesterday they announced that they are discontinuing it. This is really upsetting, not just for me, but for millions of fans of Nintendo and fans of Nintendo to come. And, you know, I'm trying to wrap my head around why they did this. Uh, but first, we'll go ahead and take a look at the statement uh, that was released yesterday. Throughout April, Nintendo of America Territories will receive the last shipments of Nintendo Entertainment System NES Classic Edition systems for this year. We encourage anyone interested in obtaining this system to check with retail outlets regarding availability. We understand that it has been difficult for many consumers to find a system, and for that we apologize. We have paid close attention to consumer feedback, and we greatly appreciate the incredible level of consumer interest and support for the product. IGN also reported that a representative said that NOA said the console was going to be a short release anyway. First off, they never intended for this to be a long-term product. I, I, I don't understand why. <laughs> I mean, I, the numbers haven't been released. Nobody knows exactly how many of these things have been sold, but it definitely has been in the millions. It could be many, many more millions. This is an amazing callback to Nintendo. It's something that we grew up with. Anybody who's my age or a little bit younger, a little bit older, people in their late 20s, up through their 40s, all had Nintendo systems when they grew up. They, they, they sold tens and tens and tens and millions of NES. And so many people want to tap back into that market. So many people would love to go back and play those games without emulating, without, you know... Uh, you know, having to download via virtual console or whatever. And I know, I know that Nintendo has made it very, very, made these games very available across many of their platforms. I know if you have a Wii or Wii U, if you have a Switch, eventually they're going to add that functionality. Uh, but, you know, it, you can download and buy those games at five bucks a pop. The nice thing about the NES Classic is you get all those best games, 30 games for $60. That's, that's a steal that's two bucks a game. Uh, and you can hook them up to your HD TV. You can play it on a Nintendo controller, the original style Nintendo controller. I mean, it really harkens back to the, to the nostalgia. And why Nintendo would do this is beyond me. Basically, you know, it, it can't cost very much to produce one of these. I highly doubt at $60 that they're selling uh, for uh, no profit or for a loss. I just, I can't see that happening. Uh, this thing has to be super, super cheap to, to produce. Um... Uh, you know, the demand is there. Anybody who thinks, anybody at Nintendo who thinks that people weren't going to buy millions of these is nuts. Uh, you know, everybody has been making videos on YouTube. I made a video on YouTube when I couldn't get one. I was so disappointed. And, you know, the, the reason I don't have one today, two reasons. One, they haven't made them available and I refuse to buy from a scalper. I'm not going to pay 100 or two or $300 for something at 60 bucks uh, when I can buy these games on virtual console. Uh, you know, that's... Not what I want to do, but that's what I'm going to have to do at this point. Or they just couldn't meet up with the, the demand. They were unable to produce enough. But even that is dumb. If Even if they can't produce enough to, to meet the supply at the price that they cost to make, I'm sure, I'm sure they're making $15 or $20 per unit. They have to be. There's no way that this thing costs 60 or more to make. Um, if they can't meet the, the demand, they have to find a way to do it. Or at least trickle re the release. You know, instead of releasing a million at a time, maybe release 50,000 at a time. Yes, that would still piss everybody off. Yes, it would be years before everybody wants one gets one. But who cares? They'd still be making money on it. People would still be buying it. And Nintendo would be even more of a household name than it already is. So that's that leads to my argument as to what was the whole purpose of releasing this thing anyway. Well, it, it's pretty easy, to be honest with you. The Wii U was the previous console. It was a great console, but did not sell. They sold like 13.4 million units or something like that. I have one. It, it really is a great console, and it's got some of the greatest games Nintendo ever made on it. I, I'm completely sincere. The Wii U was excellent, but it didn't do well. It didn't sell well. It couldn't keep up. Microsoft and Xbox, or excuse me, Xbox and uh, PlayStation blew it out of the water. So Nintendo knew that they had the Switch on the horizon. They knew that if they market the Nintendo Switch, that they were going to make money off it. It's been out for over a month now. It's a wonderful console. Yes, it's been plagued with problems. We'll talk about that some other time. But it has sold, uh, it's believed to have sold almost 2 million or over 2 million already. 
they needed something in the middle to kind of be a stopgap. Not that Nintendo is hurting for money. It's more about getting their name out there and people remembering what Nintendo is. I, I understand that, you know, bringing out the NES Classic, something simple they could do, something cheap they could do, they could make a quick buck on it, and get Nintendo back in the limelight. People my age, would have they knew that people were going to eat this thing up. It came out uh, uh, back in November before Christmas. It was a hot item. It sold immediately. Nintendo made a bang for their buck on it. But why stop? <laughs> it's not going to take away from the Switch. People it, it, people are not going to not buy the Switch because they got an NES Classic. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what Nintendo thinks. The people at Nintendo's marketing are just... They need to be fired for this. They should know that the buzz is there. They should know that there's a huge demand for this product. Just make the damn thing. Sell it. Make the money. And then in a year or two... Release a Super Nintendo version. Same thing. That thing would, would sell gangbusters. Every couple of years at Christmas, they could release another one of these for previous systems. And in 10 years from now, when the GameCube is the super nostalgic game system, they could make one of those. And, you know, a few more years after that, maybe they could make some sort of Wii version, some sort of pocket Wii or something. I mean, I know they can do it. The technology is there. The technology will be there. The demand will be there. Nintendo is still beloved. I mean, the Wii sold over 101 million units, uh, you know, in 2000, between 2006 and 2011. In 10 years from now, that's going to be a nostalgic thing, believe it or not. People are going to want to play that. And they, as the years go by and the other systems become more and more in that nostalgic factor, uh, the N64, the GameCube, etc., Nintendo needs to keep up and find ways to get these products out to their people without forcing you or pigeonholing you into to getting these games via Virtual Console. Yes, I understand. Virtual Console probably will make them a little bit more money. But at the same time, you want to get that, that, that casual gamer, you know, that, that person that's not going to buy a Switch or a Wii U, but still wants to play Super Mario Bros. 3 doesn't want to emulate. They want the true experience on their HD TV with an actual Nintendo controller. And on top of that, the thing is collectible. It's cute. It's cool. It's, it's just, it's a bummer. And I'm just, I'm really upset that they discontinued it. I think it's a bad idea. Their reasoning needs to be solid and they should be transparent about it and let the consumers know why they didn't you know, decided not to, to, to keep selling this thing. I mean, come on, come Christmas, it would make a million, million, million dollars easily. Many millions of dollars. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please be sure to hit the thumbs up below. That helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make sure to hit the little bell icon so you can be notified of all of our upcoming videos. Thanks a lot.